What's up you guys, I'm here with a new video today, and I'm here to make a video uh, that I've been wanting to make for a while, and it's basically, like the title says, why I love this format in Yu-Gi-Oh! so damn much, and uh, this is a topic that comes up basically almost on the daily for me, I either get messages in my inbox or something, or I talk to people at locals about it, and a lot of people just don't like this format in Yu-Gi-Oh! at all. And I completely disagree. Now, this could be means for arguments in the comments. I don't really care. I'm not going to argue with anybody. I'm just going to state the reasons why I really like this format. Now, we can start with the very basics. I love this format because I'm playing Light Sworn. And I love Light Sworn. I think Snow is the greatest common ever printed, if you want to know the truth. I think that card is utterly insane. And without the card, the deck would suck dick. And that's the honest truth. Without this card, I mean, the games I've lost, usually it's because I didn't mill a snow. Like, for real, you can survive so many games because of this card. Also, I have Minerva. Obviously, I like that card. That card accelerates the deck to a level that is just, you know, at times it's mind-boggling. Plus, I can play Toad. Like, I, I just really, really like this deck. Now, people could say that's a real bias that I only like this format because I'm playing this deck. I will admit, this is definitely one of the main reasons I love this format. Because playing this deck, I feel I can go in and pretty much play against anything and have a fair shot. I'm not going to get completely blown out by anything outside of maybe the occasional Dark Law and if Metal Foes set up really, really strong. For some reason, the deck struggles against Metal Foes, but that's what the side deck is for. And that's why when you open Anti-Skill Fragrance with a Toad, they lose. So, there are ways around some of the most problematic decks in the format. Now, the other reasons I like this format... Have you not seen how many decks there are? Now, I'm not talking about like 10 to 15 different decks, because that just doesn't happen in Yu-Gi-Oh! But let's look at uh, YCS Anaheim. There was ABCs, there was Metal Foes, there was Paleozoic, there was Yang Zing Metal Foes, there was, you know, all these different versions of ABC. Um, Minerva, I don't know if Minerva made it into there, but there was Dark Lords. There are a lot of decks right now. There is, it is not a one deck format, it's not a two deck format, it's not even, it's barely even a three deck format. If you were to ask me what the three best decks are, it'd obviously be ABC, Paleozoic, and Metal Foes. Now, with those three decks, it means that you at least have variety. It's kind of like when there was Dragon Ruler and Spellbooks. It really was nothing else except, well, Evil Swarm. And Evil Swarm was kind of the, the last pick you would use if you didn't want to feel like playing either Spellbooks or Dragon Rulers. Now, we're in that format again where it seems like the best decks are ABC and Metal Foes. They're the most heavily played, the most heavily represented. However, after the results of YCS Anaheim and Michael State getting second with Paleozoics, several people topping uh, with Paleozoics, my boy M, my boy Michael Tamez, all those people, they put Paleozoics on the map, and you know it was a deck that people slept on for a little bit, but now people aren't sleeping on it. That means that we have been given another deck that you know you can play, and it's a very very cool deck to play. I played it myself. The aspect of having a stun deck that is like 90% traps is just absolutely unreal like it's just crazy to me like how it works and how the pluses are just insane flipping reckless greed and bringing up a paleozoic is just just bonkers in my opinion you draw two cards you do it for your turn so that's three cards plus a monster i mean it just doesn't get better than that so paleozoics are definitely you know one of those decks that's out there now there's also room for all these other decks like dark lords now dark lords is something i've only played against a handful of times and i'm still learning how that deck works as you guys saw there was i believe one or two that top 32 to ycs anaheim one of them being steven silverman and you know he profiled his deck on jobbers channel you guys should check that out if you're not familiar with dark lords but that is a whole new deck that came out in destiny soldiers that you know it gave life and birth to a new deck to be played in this game and that's another reason i like this format because there are decks that are coming out of nowhere and they're starting to see play paleozoics were talked about were kind of ignored as soon as totally awesome came out and people really started to put together the right build of paleozoics it started to see everywhere uh, decks like Metal Foes have many variations. You can play the Ariande build. You can play the Ultimaya Tezoken build. You can play just standard Metal Foes with, uh, with uh, Magispectors and just be like, yo, Kieran just wins games. So there is a lot of different ways you can play decks this format. There's also, of course, the Minerva deck. Now, you can play the Minerva deck a bajillion different ways. This is just the current list. As you guys saw my profile, this is the same list. It hasn't changed. 
the thing is is that i really like this deck i like the versatility of the rank fours and i love the ability to go into totally awesome bahamut totally awesome is just you know great like that's another reason i really like this format i feel like you can set up really powerful boards and you can just have your opponent really struggle to break your board and if they break their, your board and you have follow-up players like snow and stuff like that you can still win now other reasons people don't like this format they feel that this is a die roll format it is you guys there's no way around it this is a dice roll format there are very 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 few decks that want to go second one deck i forgot to mention that's definitely in the top decks of this meta is mermails i personally don't like mermails just because prince is insane but nothing against mermail players the deck's awesome what at what it does you can even play toad mermails like uh hoban did mermails are the only deck i know that might want to go second because they want to otk you but if they go first they can usually make double bahamut double tree toad which is utterly insane like for a turn one play it really doesn't get better than that in that deck and going second they can pretty much just end you with megalo and all their popping guys so yeah there's a lot of decks this format and i feel that you know this is a die roll format you do want to go first now what does Yu -Gi -Oh become Yu -Gi -Oh has become your turn one play defines the entire game and it's completely true you try to set up a board turn one that your opponent cannot break. You try to put your opponent on tilt from, from turn one because you're trying to make a board that says, well, get through this, you might win. If you don't get through this, I'm probably going to win on the next turn. And that's exactly what Yu-Gi-Oh! has become. Now, a lot of people don't like that. I completely respect that. However, having played this game for years, I have seen that, I have seen fields like that. I've encountered fields like that. We all remember the famous Infernity, you know, set three barriers with the Lavaval chains and the face-up Archfiend and just say, go, you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! A lot of decks are doing that this format. A lot of decks are creating their boards, setting their back row and saying, come at me and you just have to adapt to that you have to realize that decks are going to do that this format now of course you know if you brick of course that's not going to happen but out the chances of that happening all the time are not that high now what do you do if you don't like this format you don't have to play it there's speculation about a new list that'll be coming out i don't really know anything about it so please don't ask me because i've only heard about it from a couple people there's talk about norden getting hit or institution getting hit i mean yada 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 i don't know what to believe right now but i'm just talking about the reasons why i really like this format i feel there's so many decks that can be played there's so many different ways to play those decks and i just feel like i mean people will say the game is unhealthy i i guess i just don't see it i feel like a format that has multiple decks has represented itself multiple times at multiple events like the out the outcome of different you know decks abc having brilliant empowerment standard build transmodify build paleozoics having their own builds uh, abc artifacts being a thing minerva being a thing metal foes all their different variations being a thing i feel like there is just a lot of decks this format and you could really just say oh there's only like three real decks well that's true but that's still better than having a two deck format where you know it's just like you either play you're on one side of the spectrum or the other you have variety this format now this format like i said it might be coming to an end with the possible ban list but at the same time i feel that this has just been a good format for you yo there's a lot of different decks abcs are not unbeatable they are very very good but they're not unbeatable no deck is truly unbeatable in my opinion i feel that that's what's great when dragon rulers came out they seemed to be unopposed until spellbooks dropped with their jowgan and their spellbook of judgment but if you if you notice like when you played dragon rulers you could beat every other deck outside of evil sworn of course but you could beat every other deck without even really having to try because of how powerful that deck was so without that you know you're in a format where just other decks are viable and the other decks that are still viable there's barrier statue stun there's clee demise there's all the demise decks that people forgot about there's you know there's plenty of decks there's been a domain monarch player that's been topping i think he's top three or four regionals in a row playing the deck just because domain is a floodgate domain says you can't play Yu Gi Oh. domain says no to metal foes it says no to abcs it just says no to a lot of shit so it seems really really cool in my opinion that there is that many decks this format and this is why i love the game right now i absolutely love the game right now i think there is nothing wrong with it um and you can argue with me till the cows come home. I don't really care. Like, I don't see anything that is wrong with Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, we got a lot of floodgates. Yeah, we got a lot of bullshit. But we've dealt with it before. And we've dealt with a hell of a lot worse than what we're dealing with now. And I feel with all the decks out at our disposal, we have what I would consider a almost pretty healthy game. I'm not going to say it's 100% healthy because there are some pretty unfair cards. But outside of that, I feel it's definitely not that bad. So 
Let me know what you guys think. Do you think we have a healthy format? If so, why? Do you feel we have an unhealthy format? If so, why? Let me know. I'm not going to argue with any of you. This is just my opinion. I feel that Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! is in a good place right now, and I'm very happy with the game. There are people that want to quit. Go ahead and quit. You'll be back. M. Cole made a video, summed it up perfectly. If you quit Yu-Gi-Oh!, you definitely come back. We all do. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. I'm going to be having more of, damn, I miss this deck coming back soon. Uh, I know I haven't done one in a while. I'm definitely going to do it. I'm going to be returning with Billy Breaks, uh, first place. His, like, back to back top with Tengu Plants. We're going to start it off big with that. So, I'll be preparing that in the next couple days, and that'll be the next episode that goes up. So, I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, but, yeah what do you think of this format right now are you playing this format right now and you know do you like this format if you're not playing this format why outside of personal reasons if you're taking a break from the game is there a reason related to the game that you're taking a break so yeah let me know what you guys think i guess the last thing i could say the only thing that i feel would probably disdain players from wanting to play is the price tags on cards like uh pot uh what is it uh, pot of desires and you know dimensional barrier war strikes stuff like that i know financial can always be the reason you don't want to cash out for these cards but i feel like if you are going to play competitive Yu -Gi Oh, you have to make the decision of am i going to go for a meta deck a non-meta deck and you know what's my budget so that's just one more thing to add so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did smash that like button let me know any other kind of discussions you'd like to have like me to have here on the channel i'll definitely bring them to you soon let me know if my audio got better uh i messed up my microphone i like i set it on the like really bad settings last time so let me know if the audio is a little bit clearer this time um, I don't have that great of, you know, like an ear for that stuff. So just let me know. That'd be great to let me know if I've got the settings set up right. I got a blue Yeti. So if anyone out there knows the perfect settings when recording from your laptop and like with a webcam, let me know because I definitely want to make that uh, a better listening experience for you guys. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like I said, smash that like button. Follow me on all my social media. It's all down in the description. It's all on the main page. Let's all be friends because, you know, that's how Yu-Gi-Oh is. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.